Daily duties. Yeah. A bit untidy, like the yeah. Boston Strangler's attic was untidy. Uh, no, it's just, you know, there's clothes strewn around the place a bit. Whose clothes? Maria Laura's <laughs> stained tights. Who is Maria Laura? One of no. the Italian girl that you've murdered. Soon as someone's gone, he just forgets it's all about them. They're history. Don't know, it's just a good Italian name, isn't it? What, what are their names? Uh, Denise were... and Martina. Denise and Martina? Yeah, and Tanya. And ta How many of them is there? There's three of them. It's a litany. Yeah. There's two of them. There's Blimey. three. They're dropping like flies, these girls. <laughs> They're dropping like Italian Serie A clubs, yeah. hey? It's a contemporary. That joke was what I've just done there. Bernardo's moving in on Monday. Cool joke. Okay, hey, Plug, do you, yeah, it was. Plug, uh, as you've come to all this trouble and it's very unlikely you'll at any point receive payment, do you, do you want to, do you want to, uh, you know, excuse the pun, plug your, uh, firm? Well, you know, Thamesguest.com, you know, they'll come out and they'll sort, especially sort out your boiler and your sink. I've got a problem with my boiler, as, yeah. as a matter of well, fact. I don't know why I married her. I'm only <laughs> mucking about. I'm single. Come on. I thought I'd do an old-fashioned joke. Why not once in a while? That's great. It's that's okay. Uh, brilliant. Retrospective. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you know, Thamesguest.com will come out and sort all your problems out. You know, we cover the whole of London. So. Between Plug and Bleeding Tim Westwood. We're on the BBC. <laughs> for God's sake, we're not supposed to do stuff like that. Crikey, it's going through. All right, then. Well, thank you very much for coming. You're we'll welcome. give you a mini-disc. Use, use lads. I, I urge you. Connor, Jack, seven years and eight years old, stay close to your dad when you're around Trevor Lock's house, okay? <laughs> for God's sake, don't leave his side, you beautiful boys! But when are you coming round? <laughs> when, when, when is it for? You can, whenever you want to Straight after the show, maybe. Thamesguest.com will come around in We're the paying morning now. We're night. paying now. We're That's paying now, fine. Trev. We'll get your washing machine fixed. It's your yeah, special I'll day. Trev, on. why don't you give, uh, share some of your fudge with Connor and Jack, the children? It's all gone, I think. You it? greedy you pig! Greedy boy. <laughs> you greedy... Why did you eat all that fudge? We told you. Share. Share. Save. <laughs> Set some yeah. aside for in case children come, but you scoffed it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, well, I didn't understand you. You used unusual pronunciation when you told me that. <laughs> really? Well, Sarah. what did it come yeah. across as? Sarah. Because I said Sarah. <laughs> Poor old Matt. Don't attack Matt. He's got Matt's cultural reviews coming up. That's going to be exciting. He went to see Superman, didn't you, this week? Yeah. Who was your date this time? An ugly, <laughs> ugly woman with a beard. <laughs> And a sort of crow man face. <laughs> she sounds sexy. She picked her nose all the way through the film <laughs> and snorted and brayed with laughter throughout. <laughs> her name was Russell. <laughs> what a delicious sounding woman she is. I just wish that I wasn't her so I could have it off with I. Okay, so what are we going to listen to now? Should we listen to a track? Let's listen to Fun Boy 3. Is this you, Trevor? Yes, it is me. Well, is this is special day. Bam this one. Bam in. this in, yeah, please. Okay. Let's Trevor, why don't you tell us something about the whereabouts of Denisa and Marielella and all these poor cows. They'll be uh, at home in their double beds listening to, they've got a little iPod and they each have one ear each and they lie in their bed singing Italian songs quite loudly. Trev, you've got to entertain these people, I've told you this. Lying in their no, bed? We've got that one ear each with one each iPod. And an iPod. Oh, this is their not my, I'm, their landlord. Landlord. I'm not supposed to entertain them. You you're are. like Leonard Rossiter in Rising Damp, but you're just craning around their door trying to catch a glimpse of them in their petticoats. We don't have anything in common with them. them. Fixing things, aren't no. <laughs> 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 oh, there's a squeaky floorboard down oh, there. Oh, why are you fixing it at three o'clock in the morning? Oh, you're making us nervous, Mr. Trevor. Right, so it's Trevor's special day today on Russell Brand's Six Music Show here with Matt Morgan. Trevor, how have you enjoyed your special day so far? Uh, I feel sort of dizzy from too much sugar. I'm, gonna, I'm on a post-sugar come down. I feel oh, confused. Yeah. But and what nauseous. about that? Your washing machine's going to get fixed. It's not going to get fixed, is it? That was a stunt. It's going <laughs> to remain the same. He's I'm a gonna... real plumber. He's a he's a he got a real plumber into the studio. My washing machine isn't in here, is it? It's in the kitchen. That's not my fault, Trev. You, you've put your washing machine where you like. You've you got you no clog foresight. up your washing machine. Yeah, I've got no foresight. Bring, Bring it with you. Bring it, Bring it with you, Trev. <laughs> yeah, we can give you a special day trip. We can't carry you through no, life. I brought my dirty clothes with me. That's you true. You could have laundered them in the time that we've been here. Well, we've arranged for this lady, Lena, to come and see you. To do my right. washing. Good morning. Good You're morning, right, Lena. Lena. I'm all right, thank you very much. What is it you do for a living, dear? Um, I do roly poly kissograms. Roly poly kissograms? Do you, so what, and you strip, do you? Uh, no. Oh, that's good. No. I Not don't. naked, but just no, down to. I do topless or you do topless. topless yes. Well, excuse me. Le this is for you, Trev. This is oh, your special your day. Well, let me explain. Like, well, what Hold on. One minute ago, I had a dodgy washing machine. Mm. Now, this is. What, 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 we what, think what? you need nourishment, Trevor. You, we think you need a mother figure. Companionship. <laughs> companionship. Well, that's true. Companionship and love that Lena can provide you with 
For a small fee, how, how much do you charge, Lena? Um, £75. Very reasonable. Well, I'm now, sorry, what would I get for £75? Trevor, we're not negotiating. Extra, Can yeah. we not... No, let's not get to that! Well, because we spoke to the controller of our radio station, Leslie Douglas, said that we're not allowed to have strippers on the show. Well, quite right, Kel Surprise. <laughs> quite clearly, it's bad form, isn't it, to have strippers on the show? Really so, form. Lena, we've, uh, you mustn't take off any of your clothes. No, I won't do that. Good, because we've, it's been banned, and quite rightly, many would argue. Matt, do you think it was right that we're not allowed strippers on the show? Definitely. Isn't it? I, I always felt uncomfortable with it. Well, whose idea was it? Yours, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> What's wrong with your brain then? Because I said it and then I went, no, we can't do that. And you went, yes, brilliant, excellent, get on the phone. Yeah, but like, so we, we obviously wanted to cancel it because the controller of our jobs said that we can't do it. And Leslie, why do we love it, anyway? Then? Because it was too late because we didn't tell, we forgot to tell Adam who had booked the stripper or Lena who had booked Lena. Was, you're not a stripper anyway, you're a kissogram. I'm a kissogram, yes. There's only one. What's the difference? Um. Strippers go off, and I don't. Go off, take all I their clothes guess. off. No, I don't. And so, uh, how old are you, Lena, if you don't mind me asking? Seventy-one. You're seventy-one. Yes. So you're. Uh, you, I'll talk a bit closer to the mic, darling. Yes. And you're, you're from Perthley in Essex, yes. Essex, where yes. I'm near. Fr I'm from near there, Grays. Yes. Yeah. So like, okay. So traditionally, a kissogram's different because a kissogram doesn't take their clothes off. No. And I suppose, having seen Trevor, you'd be less likely to do that than ever, wouldn't you? Yeah. Problem. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think of him? If you look he's at him, lovely. Oh, he is lovely. He is lovely, little lovely fella. Oh, thank you. This so is his special thank day, you. Lena. Thank you. So anyway, as we like, we're not. There'll be no stripping because it's tacky and it's low class. But we booked you, and it'd be a shame to bring you in not to do anything. Would you just go over and give Trevor? Perhaps Trevor could come and sit on your lap, Lena, and have a little cuddle. I'll go over to Trevor, shall I? You go over, Trevor, yes, darling. You toddle over there, Trevor. Are you grateful for your special day? I am immensely grateful to you guys. Yeah, well, that's you? good. Put your phone down. Put your phone down, Trevor. Who are you phoning? The police? Friend. <laughs> oh, oh, L Lena, you've took your top off. Oh my heavens! Oh, no. Hold she's on, but no, but this is this is breaking the, the office rules. No, no, no. She's, she's, French oh, maid's outfit. Topic. She's fully clothed yeah. in a French maid's yeah. outfit. Have a cuddle. Right. Have a nice cuddle, Trevor. Oh, oh heavens! There, it's now, just a normal cuddle from a clothed this woman. Is, this is oh, okay. No, stop it, it's, it's Lena. Do you sing songs or anything? This is radio. There's no point in doing that. Lena, do you sing songs? Yes. Sing a song to Trev. You got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole world. This is silly. In your hands. You got the whole world. Turn that webcam off. Oh. Is there, oh, a fully clothed woman singing a song to Trevor. Oh, that's a nice song. Do you know any other songs, Lena? <sighs> Yeah, A B A B A B, my boy. What are you waiting for now? You promised to go. Never too late, and you're never too soon. All the family. Oh, no. I can't what do that now. This is what this is wrong. Right. A B A B, <laughs> oh. my boy. Trevor's <laughs> nice. Is that for now? <laughs> <laughs> Lena, that was a lovely song. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you for that. doing it. That was lovely. That was that was lovely. Yes. Did you enjoy that, Trev? Ooh, little kiss, thank you. Oh, no, he's got a lovely body, and he, ooh. Yeah. It's yeah. Trevor, he's fully really Trevor should, I, it, it's a shame that there'll be no stripping. If anything, Trevor should do a little strip tease down to his pants for you, I think, Lena. No, let's not go there. All right, it's just fair a enough. nice, innocent, special day. An exactly. innocent, special day, all innocent for Trevor. A nice chest, ooh. Lena, yeah. you're doing your very best to drag this show yeah. into the gutter. This where is sexual harassment in the workplace now, this is officially. It's sexy no, harassment, no, Trevor, not, and we're all enjoying it's sexy. <laughs> there, what lovely, but okay, and, right, so why don't, what, why don't, oh, can't we listen to... No. What? Yeah. What do you want to listen to? I want to listen to Tom Waits. Chris Rea, let's dance. Come on, I'll come on. give you a kiss. Yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, give Matt a kiss. Uh, come on, Matt. Come oh, on, Matt, it's your special day as well. well you've got a lovely body on all. Thank you very much, Lena. <laughs> I have to press Fully the button, close. so he yes. might put me off. You're I'll pushing these button. buttons, <laughs> lovely. Okay, let's listen to Queens of Stone Age. That man over there with the lady's hair. <laughs> okay, she's giving Adam a cuddle now. That's it, give him a cuddle. Let's listen to Queens of the Stone Age now, shall we? It's Trevor's it. special day, it's Queens of the Stone Age. This is Trevor Lock, special day. How are you enjoying the special day so far, Cocky? It's not felt special at all. Why? What? It's awful. Nice to have a cuddle. I've got stomach ache, I, I feel nauseous because of the sugar. This I've, has been the been best day of your harassed. life. It hasn't. Eat some fudge! There isn't any fudge left, it's What's just wrong with tomatoes. Lena, has he hurt your feelings by being so ungrateful? Not really, because you get all men, like, some men are like that, aren't they? Yeah, I suppose you get <laughs> many <Cutty> men. <laughs> 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 Not that there's anything wrong with that, as we all know, because this is a cool show, we don't get monkeys about nothing going here. So, like, uh, okay, well, thank you very much for your time. So, it's time now 
Are you ready for this, girls? Yeah. Mandy, Jack. This is a little item we like to call Matt's Cultural Review. Have you done a, have you done a trail, Matt? <laughs> Let's listen to Matt's trail for his Cultural Hello, Review. Hello, this is Matthew Morgan's Cultural Review, in which I travel to wonderful places and review them. You turn up somewhere, feel uncomfortable, belch like a yobo. If you can talk like that for this Cultural Review, why don't you always talk like it? Then people might find it acceptable. I do like to take a young lady somewhere and use the cultural review to get inside her knickers. That cultural review has just become audio ro hypno. It's working rather well for everyone involved. Thank you. Slept for the victims! <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with us? We just did that in the studio and then people refused it. It's terrible, really, isn't it? Um, right, actually, okay. the culture, that's a complete joke because the culture, I took a lady once and yeah. four cultural reviews of the lady. Have four cultural once. reviews. Oh, my, if you look at my record, if I just point out the facts, that's four cultural reviews. I mean, we're free with yeah. blokes. Odd. If one of them was a butch bloke, wasn't one he? With my mate Pete, one with, uh, on my own, one yeah. with a lady, and then this week, the most horrifying of all, <laughs> with Russell Brand. <laughs> Best cultural review you've ever done, I bet, ain't it? Well, you know. Come on, then tell us what your cultural review was, Matthew. This I know, week, of course, because I was there. I went with Russell to um, see Superman, but not just in a normal cinema with normal people, in a cinema all on our own. Yeah, because like... You went on your own? You yeah, because we had to the preview cinema. it to go and interview. We had to go and interview the stars of Superman, Kevin Spacey, Brandon Roof and uh, Katie Bosworth on our... Been oh, on our MTV yeah, program. Right. I misunderstood you when on you tonight. said that. Watch it tonight. Basically, they, you, you used to just be able to go, I've seen the film and it's brilliant, even when you hadn't, but now they make the presenters go. Look. How would they actually have known, though, if we'd gone or not? We could have sent anybody. Yeah. We could have just sent some fella. Well, as soon as Russell's interviews, he interviewed, uh, what's her name? Kate Bosworth. Yeah. Who plays Lois Lane. Yeah. yeah. And he tried to compliment her on being slim. Yeah. yeah. He said, oh, what about you? You haven't got kids, have you? Because you... Lois Lane has got kids in the yeah, film. Yeah, she goes, oh, yeah, she she liked the role because you got to play a mother, that was it, wasn't she? Yeah. And you went, yeah, what about in your real life, though? You, you can't have kids, meaning you haven't got kids, You have can't you? have had kids because yet. Because you're too slim. Yeah, right? yeah. He goes, you can't have kids, you're too thin. Yeah. Like that. And she went, what? And he goes, well, you know, like, you're too thin, aren't you, to have kids? <laughs> Yeah, it didn't sound like an assault like that. Yeah, it's true. Like, he was going, look at your little body. You couldn't. You can't nourish a child, stick woman. <laughs> what are you? You're Baron. You're Baron Bosworth. It didn't sound like that. It sounded wrong, nice, didn't it? It came out wrong. I thought we were getting on well. She was sat there barefoot. We had a little bit of a flirt. She's barefoot. Yeah, well, she, was. Yeah, she was very nice actually. Kevin Spacey was qu well, he was sort of professional, bro professional, professional to the point of austerity and coldness. Unlike what has he done to the old Vic? Talk Go on. professional. Yeah, was spat on a Superman poster <laughs> when we were at the Superman jungle <laughs> and was spotted by a woman. It yeah, works for Superman. You're at the Dorchester Hotel, it's all like alive with PR people and flunkies hustling you and bustling you in different directors. Oh, you, you know, Kevin Spacey's this way, or oh, Brian Singer's that way. Okay, you've got four minutes. They actually stopwatch time you as you interview them. We went in there with um, Brandon Ralph, who I called Brandon Roof. Oh, all right, Brandon, all right, mate. So I was in that film where you're pretending to be Superman. What's it like? Like I kept saying, like, you're pretending to be Superman as if he's not really Superman to diminish it and that. Funny, wouldn't it, Matt? Offensive. <laughs> Is he, uh, is he gay? Well, we don't know. No, he's got a girlfriend. He's got a girlfriend. He's definitely got a girlfriend. Well, he's you got a girlfriend. Trevor, I he's think you're in... a poster of him. Uh, like, like yeah, a, there's nothing being slanderous about saying that. So, yeah, I think there is, mate. It could be yeah, he's in a relationship well with a woman. He's in a like, relationship with a woman, Brandon Ralph. He's properly happy. So, like, oh, uh, we're going to talk about the film, aren't we? Yeah, we talk about the film. I and it has to me act. spinning on that poster. That was an accident because no, I he sneezed. was mucking around. We were, it was part of a joke, and then he spat on a poster and then rubbed it and went Superman blue or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> this woman came over and goes, Why did you spit on our poster? Well, that was embarrassing. For fun. I said it for some fun, just to have a bit of fun while I'm at this junket at the Dorchester, feeling all restricted, light in the mood. Anyway, Laugh. the film Superman. What do you think of the film Superman, Matt? It was fun, because me We had a security guard sat behind us, didn't we? Stop us filming the film. So there's a guy like, you know, in oh, case you film the film, we go, we ain't filming this film, we regret watching it once. We're gonna sit through, <laughs> <laughs> gonna sit through it again, or try and make a few quid, knocking off pirate copies of it. We should do, definitely, um... You know, director's commentary style commentaries on films. Yeah. We made that film brilliant. We did actually. We brightened it up. Just by sitting there and immaturely taking the mickey out of it all the way through. Yeah, because yeah. there's bits where you couldn't, like, there's bits where. Lena's really misbehaving. What's going on, love? <laughs> Nothing at all. I'm being very good at the moment. You're not gossiping about us, are you? No. 
with the, with that. Uh, say about you, the other side of the you. Right. <laughs> 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 that, uh, mm, mm, mm. Challenge. <laughs> that was a challenge. I'm really glad you're here, Lena. Mr. G's joined us in the studio. He's going to do his poem in a minute. Yeah, there's a, the thing is, sort of like, it's trying to carry anti smoking messages and stuff like that, it's isn't it, man? To, really? what, what it's done is, like, he's an American superhero in an yeah. age where that all seems a bit silly and not acceptable. So they even do that bit where he goes, I stand, he goes, Superman, do you still stand for truth, justice, and all that other stuff instead all of that other stuff. the American way? Uh -huh. And he said to Kevin Spacey, or, and, and to Superman, he goes, is that because the American way would mean uh, Superman, Superman would, have would to go, go to Afghanistan and kick over some tents? <laughs> kick over oh. people's hats and oppress people and nick their petrol. <laughs> so, it was all funny. Yeah, it's silly, like, so, I don't want to ruin the story, but Superman ends up in hospital with his 